In the beginning of Hegel's Science and Logic, he has a section titled, With What Must Science Begin? And his conclusion is ultimately that philosophy, science, begins with being. Being is. Being is a thing that's presupposed. However, the important point from this is one of the concluding paragraphs. Hegel says, this insight is itself so simple that this beginning as such requires no preparation or further introduction, and indeed, these preliminary external reflections about it were not so much intended to lead up to it as rather to eliminate all preliminaries. The point I want to make from this is a contrast with theism. Theism is a position that already presupposes its own negation. What this means is that theism already assumes concepts which lead to the negation of theism. So in discoursing with theists, the dialectic against theism does not consist in leading up to the falsity of theism as a conclusion. That would be backwards. That would be the inferior way to do it but ultimately to remove the preliminaries, to remove the theistic confusion which is preventing it from seeing the reality that it already presupposes. And the thing that theism presupposes is the authority of naturalism. To prove this, all we do is we continue to contrast the foundational commitments the theist has with the propositions that he is stating are claiming that he believes exist. When we do this, ultimately what happens is his commitments take greater precedent over his quote-unquote conclusions, although they're not really conclusions, over his propositions. The theist would claim that he believes that God exists, but first the reality is that the theist believes something about existence, and the thing that he believes about existence nullifies or negates his conclusion of God's existence. This is the way that we can reason with theists to ultimately refute their position and show that in all reality, they're first of all committed to a position of naturalism, we do not reason to lead up to the falsity of theism. We simply reason so as to eliminate the preliminaries and the confusions that prevent the theist from understanding what he already has, a commitment to naturalism.